on how to switch over a website front page to a blog style layout. Um, currently we have a website that is just pointed towards this static article and we want to add a couple columns and some articles down here below it. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to menus and site home and we're going to click on home to edit that item and here we go is our our um, type is just an article so we're going to change this type and we're going to change it to a front page blog layout okay the leading article is the one that you will find on top the number of intros is actually how many um, articles will be following the one on top so I'm going to change this over to two and columns uh, two columns is good and number of links if I wanted to say um, put links below it to the previous items listed that's where we would um, determine how many hyperlinks to previous articles are included by default after the um, three articles they were talking about up top here so I'm gonna go ahead and just change that to zero we can change that back later if you like and I'm going to change this to order and then order I want those going across I want to hide pagination I'm not going to show a feed link because it's actually on the front page of my website um, I also like to hide all of these so that they're not um, prominent on the front page. However, if you click on the article, you can still see all of these icons if you want to email it or print it, etc. Okay, so let's click Save. And I'm going to go over to my control panel and the front page manager. And currently I have only two items out here. Um, I really need one more to kind of make it look, look a little balanced. So I'm going to go search just for a random article to place on the front page. Um, hmm. Oh, this looks kind of interesting. So I'm going to promote that. If I want to add this to the front page, I'm just going to click on front page. Yes. I'm going to click save. Let me go back to my page manager. And on this one, I placed a value for the order of negative 2. What that's going to do is just tell it to always stay on top. Um, whenever I add new items, it'll go into our first column of the layout, and the last one will expire. So let's, um, let's go out here and take a look at our page. And here's our page. Huh. So we've got a strange little wrapping issue right here, which I'm just going to go in and fix real quick. Let's just take a look and see what is going on with this. Alignment. I'm going to kind of, just to make it look a little bit more symmetrical, I'm going to move him down here. <laughs> there we go, that's a little better. Apply, preview. And I'm going to make one other change. I'm going to take off these read mores, and I'm going to make our titles hyperlinks. So to do that, I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to go back to my site home menu, I'm going to click on home, and under parameters, component, I'm going to show article title, yes, title linkable, yes, and the read more link, I'm going to take that off by hiding it kind of gives it a little bit cleaner look and feel to it. So now I have these that I can click on. And instead of having the read more, we actually have the 
titles. Okay, that's the basics. If you have any questions, just please give me a call. Thank you.